y'all welcome back to what I'm on today today we're gonna talk about my best purchases of 2021 stay tuned hey y'all welcome back to what I'm on today for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate at all I am super excited. I have seen all of these cool videos about the best purchases in 2021. So I thought that I would do it and actually pulling out like some of these pieces that I've purchased this year. I'm like really shocked and amazed that I've kind of formed such a handbag collection in such a short amount of time. So I'm not going to do this in any order. I'm not going to do it in order of brand or in order of when I actually got the pieces but I'm just going to go over them so that they're not super long because I think I have like, I don't know, 10 or 11 bags and a couple of pair of shoes and one SLG. I forgot that I got this in 2021. This bag has been one of my staples. I wore this all summer. This is one of my favorite Chanel bags in my collection. This is called the Sweet Classic and it is in the size large. Um, mine is in white with gold hardware this is a single flap as you can see and it is the most amazing bag I have a video on this um, bag that I will link above but this thing is so amazing and so great I think when I got this I paid $4,600 for this bag which in Chanel life is an absolute steal and I literally wore this with everything I did not know that I needed a white bag until I needed a white bag this has gotten so much wear and it is still in as perfect condition as when I bought it earlier this year this is the coach backpack I'll put the actual name of it down below I don't think that you are available to get this anymore I was so excited I wanted this bag for so long in 2021 I definitely got into backpacks and I purchased um, pretty much my first backpack and when I tell you like I love this thing for travel I love this just for going out to the mall or wherever the little bit of things that we're doing in this kind of COVID world but this bag has been so great it's smushy this thing fits so much it is such an amazing bag this is from coach um, if you guys didn't know this is actually from the retail store and I think that I paid I want to say 150 for this at the beginning of the year last year when they were having like some type of sale also don't quote me it could have been the middle of the year I have no clue I cannot remember but I love this and this has gotten somewhere and again looks great this is kind of that glove tanned leather um, as you can see on the back and this is something that I feel like I'm gonna have in my collection forever and the more that it wears down the better that it looks because you guys know all about that coach leather okay the next bag that I purchased this year and this is another bag where I'm like I only had this thing for a year I love this bag this is the YSL toy Lulu I got this on my Teresa at some point uh, in 2021 and at the time I want to say this bag was twelve hundred dollars or twelve fifty or eleven ninety something like that I know that there has been a small price increase and I think it's like maybe fifteen hundred and some change now but this bag is everything I got so much wear out of it this is one of my only kind of like true beige bags in my collection and this goes with everything so this is a beige it also has kind of a the gold hardware it comes with a couple of pockets um, and it comes with this leather strap I bought an Amazon strap for it which is here and 90% of the time I will wear it with my Amazon strap this thing is a true to life workhorse I can fit all of my essentials plus some in here and so even though it's kind of small it can fit so much like this is the perfect bag and I would love to get this in multiple colors going back to the backpacks these I have two backpacks in my collection the coach one that I just showed you and this MCM backpack um, again another bag that I have worn to death like I wear this bag all the time it is my grab-and-go bag it's super casual but it's gonna like lift up an outfit real quick as well this comes with um, 
three straps. Um, am I lying? Hold, please. I was lying. This comes with two straps. Um, and they're both detachable. I usually wear this as a crossbody. Every once in a while, I'll wear it with two shoulders. But this thing fits a lot as well. It fits all of my essentials. Obviously, not as much as the coach bag, but it does fit all of my essentials. And I just love this. And this is like, I don't know what this is, if it's coated canvas or if it's leather. I'm not really sure. I'll put that information below. Um, this particular bag with the kind of graffiti is no longer available at MCM, but you guys know that every single season they come out with this backpack. This is called the, I think this is the Stark backpack. I'm going to put it down below, the real information, but they have this um, in all different types of kind of styles, prints, colors, and this is definitely worth adding to your collection. I know a lot of people have the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini, so I think that this is definitely a comparable bag to that. Much, much more um, affordable if that's something that matters to you. Um, I think this bag was 800 and some change when I purchased it. You guys know I'll put the right information down below. Um, and I think the Palm Springs Mini is maybe 2000 I just made that up. Um, but <laughs> I'm assuming that it's somewhere um, in that space. But this thing is so great. One of the things I will tell you guys is if you can add a backpack to your collection, guys, it's just so amazing. Like, it really is. It is a game changer in my handbag collection. So love this thing right here. The next bag that to me is an amazing purchase for 2021 is a newer bag in my collection. This is the Coach and the JLo collaboration bag and this is the Marley top handle bag. This bag is so awesome. Like when I first got this bag, I continued to wear it and I just got this bag. And now I still do. Like it is the perfect bag. I love the shirling on the bag um, obviously there's a video there's probably a video about all these bags so I'll be linking them or putting them in the description box below um, this bag kind of opens up and you can kind of take this off uh, to allow yourself to open it a little bit better but it's one slot in a zip pocket and then it also has a back pocket which y'all know us, us purse lovers you got to have a back pocket like that really does like make your entire bag. It comes with a strap that is a uh, chain and leather. Um, and this thing is just so great. Like it is stunning in person. It's stunning when I wear it. Um, and it also is a bag that fits a lot of stuff in it. And I am so happy that I got this bag. I think this retailed. This was actually only at the outlet and it retailed for $315, which I was like, excuse you, that is super expensive for the outlet, for any bag in the outlet. So I was able to get it when it went way, way, way down on sale and I ended up paying $150 for it. And this was one of the bags that was lucky because it was totally sold out for weeks. And then randomly, y'all know I tell y'all, I'll be stalking. Randomly, I went on the um, coach site and they had like six left. And I purchased it. It took a month to get to me, but it was so worth it. And this is like so soft and plush. I love this bag. And I hope that this is like a long piece in my collection. This is my Chanel Jumbo in that delicious 21A gray and the um, gold hardware. Y'all know if you have been watching this channel that this is my holy grail bag and I cannot even believe that this is a part of my collection like what holy grail bag I got this right before a price increase which does it even matter with Chanel like does it matter if you get it before a price increase because baby it was already increased by the time you got it I mean Chanel has had what four or five price increases in a year so saying you got something before a price increase is kind of ridiculous because there's always a price increase. So um, this bag was $7,400 um, when Jumbos were $7,400. Um, I got this, you know, obviously in store. And this is the double flap. Um, and love this bag. I probably haven't worn it as much as I've worn that white bag. That white bag, I've worn that 
white Chanel like crazy. Um, but hopefully um, in 2022 I can get more wear out of it. I've definitely worn her a couple times and she's great. I thought she was going to be really hard to style. But actually she is pretty much a neutral and goes with anything that is like kind of cooler. If I'm wearing a cooler color I can wear, wear this bag. And this is a great, great bag. And I'm like ecstatic that I have this in my collection. And this is absolutely going to be a forever piece um, in my collection because now these bags are so freaking expensive that you know it's not even worth letting it go well maybe it is if you need to make a little bit of profit but I, I hope that this is a forever piece in my collection because I love it my Tory Burch tote um, I will put the exact name down for it because I cannot remember I got this bag when they had a sale recently I think it's only a couple maybe three or four months ago they had a sale ended up getting this bag for $299 this bag has been the few places that I have been I have been using this as a work bag um I have the ability to go into the office whenever I want to so at some at one point I was going into the office like once a week this was the bag that I was wearing once a week I mean this fits my laptop which is a pretty large HP laptop um, it also fits my keyboard, it fits my other bag, it fits lunch, it fits everything that I need in here. And this <clears throat> is like really a great bag. I have also taken this on travel. Um, I might do a video about how I pack my travel. I actually went to New Orleans um, this October. <clears throat> and I had, we all, a bunch of us friends went. The flight that we got, um, it did not allow carry-ons which is insane you could only have a personal item and so I literally packed this baby with four days worth of outfits and shoes I think I had five pair of shoes and four days worth of outfits and an extra handbag in here and this was my carry-on and I like that's crazy so I know a lot of my friends were like how in the world did you get all that stuff in here so I carried this bag and this was amazing. I think I actually used this bag too when I went to LA. Um, and LA was kind of like a three, four day situation. And I'm pretty sure that I brought this as well. Like this thing is a workhorse. This is in canvas and leather. I will tell you that <clears throat> I do have some <clears throat> right here on this side. I do have some color transfer from my jeans, which is so annoying. I have not done any research on how to clean this canvas bag or maybe I'll just like take it back to Tory Burch or ask them like what they do but um, hopefully I can get this out but essentially it's wearing like pretty well um, considering that this has been like my overnight bag my work bag and anytime that I travel this has been like my carry-on bag um, and has fit so much stuff which is like absolutely insane but it's also awesome so if you guys are looking for like a workhorse of a tote like I so recommend this this is awesome this is one of the newer bags in my collection that I just got for Christmas and I have only worn her a couple of times since then like I had to wear her immediately as soon as I got it and this is like one of the cutest bags that I have in my collection like I am obsessed with this I paid full price for this at $3.95 um, and coach had this color out last year it sold out and then they uh, restocked it recently this winter so like as soon as I saw it on the site I just got it like this bag is awesome I know that there are a thousand videos about the pillow tabbing because it was the it bag I guess of the summer and obviously I am late to jump on board with that but this is so great and I am hoping to add a larger pillow tabby 26 um, to my collection um, but this right here is just everything and I love it so if you want like a small bag that you can just dress up dress down like this is it this is this is it and it is so soft like oh my gosh like coach y'all know I love coach they just keep doing it for me so yes I am in love with this bag um, and newest one of the newer bags in my collection but so like worth paying full price for it this is the coach alley bag 
um, in the signature print leather and it also has snake skin I mean all of that um, this bag at one point I think retailed for $3.95 or $4.95 something like that you guys know I, I do have a video about this as well um, that this was like a very difficult bag for me to get. I did not see it anywhere in any of the stores. They did not have it in my local coach. And my essay was able to actually get this from me from like Japan or one of the other coaches internationally. Um, this is one of my best purchases, even though I have not worn this a ton. It's like I just wanted it so badly. And you know how you want something so badly and you get it and it's like just not a disappointment? That is this bag. This bag has just not been a disappointment. It is so freaking cute. Um, it has a detachable leather strap. And then it is small inside, but you can definitely fit like all of your essentials. Your phone fits in here. And it is just so adorable. Like it's just the cutest bag. You guys know that I actually was able to pick up three more alley bags because clearly I have a very uh, obsessive personality when I really like something I get into multiples apparently and I never used to be like that but that's just how I am now and um, I just love this bag this bag is so awesome um, and I, I think remembering correctly it's actually $4.95 and I did pay like full retail for this bag this probably is my least expensive purchase for 2021 but it has been like one of the best purchases for 2021 this is the nolita i want to say 19 i will put the correct number below uh this is sold at the coach outlet and guys this bag is just so great like this is something where i put all of my essentials in so any of my little things this is like my catch-all and i actually got this one and then I got another one in um, just green and I love it and these are the things that I usually use in all of my bags so you guys know that I have like pouches that I use all of them are coach all of my SLGs are coach guys you guys know that um, and so for my bigger bags I am always using this right here and this is kind of very similar in size to the um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette um, very similar in size kind of giving you the same type of vibes this comes in all different types of colors it comes in different leathers on the coach website I don't know how much this was but I imagine that it was not more than like 50 or 60 bucks I'll put the exact number that I paid for it but these are on the site all the time they did not used to be on the site um, I think over the past like year year and a half they've kind of brought these back which I am so happy about because like these are like awesome like I love these I love this so much I can't believe that I have purchased three Chanel bags in 2021 like what really and the answer is yes um I have like one of the best essays ever and all of the bags so I have two essays that I use one in Tyson's and one in Bethesda and um, my Holy Grail bag, my, uh, my Chanel and Tyson's had for me. And then the other two bags, my white bags and this silver kind of metallic mini, um, my Bethesda location had for me. And it's just, I mean, anything that's rare or that's like mm, a little bit different, she will like call me and say, Hey, look, what do you think about this? Which I really appreciate. Um, this bag was kind of one of the sought after bags it was this one in the gold one that came out I can't remember what collection this came out of but one of the 2021 collections um but this is great it's a single flap um and then it just has a slip pocket or a zip pocket um and I will say <laughs> that this bag along with that white bag I wore this to death this summer because it literally went with everything like it was so awesome and I, I'm looking over here, but it's not going to be in the picture. Like I have some silver Sam Edelman um, loafers that I got that work perfectly with this. But anything works perfectly with this, honestly. Um, this I paid, obviously at Chanel, I paid full retail. At the time I purchased this, it was $4,000. I think that, I can't remember if the minis have gone up. I haven't purchased anything from Chanel and at least six months so I'm not really sure like where all the prices are right now but this was four thousand dollars and this was worth it I feel like this will be a forever piece in my collection and I love this like I've been able to dress this up and dress this down this is just like the perfect 
like size and the perfect like color combination period and if you can see this has um it's metallic with the silver hardware and I really really wanted the gold one when it came out she wasn't able to they never got that at the Bethesda store um and she was able to get this one and in pictures I thought it was kind of goldy but it was really silver when I saw it in person but my husband and my essay were like you just have to get it and I'm so glad that I did because it's silver so it's casual enough to be casual but also it's sparkly and cute so you can totally dress it up so I I love that I actually went for this one I have this is my last bag and then I have two pair of shoes so guys I was legit on the fence a couple of videos ago uh, about this this is the Valentino Roman stud um, bag and this is in the smaller size I think they are calling it the medium um, when I purchased this bag you guys know that I got it for a really good deal at Nordstrom Rack. I paid $999 for this bag. Um, I could not believe that Nordstrom actually sold like real life um, luxury handbags. Um, so I was very excited to get this and I just scooped it up because I'm like, I'm never going to find it for this price. I think this retails for 32 or 3300 or 3100 something like that for this size. So obviously getting it for $999 was an absolute steal. Um, this went from a, hey guys, should I sell this bag? What should I do? Should I keep it? And a lot of you guys gave me some really great advice. A lot of you guys just told me that I should keep it. Some of you guys wanted to buy it. Um, but this bag, I have been wearing. Like, again, I have a couple of black bags. Um, and this is the inside. It has like a, a pocket and then a big open space. And then there's no pocket on the back. Um... I have been wearing this bag like a lot over the last you know several weeks since I've gotten it and this is kind of like literally like an everyday ish bag so even though it's kind of like smancy fancy smancy it's been really working like in my wardrobe so I wanted a black bag believe it or not which I'm not a black bag girl at all so I do have like a larger Strathberry midi tote that I got a couple years ago that's kind of a little bit more formal um, and then I have my Chanel pearl uh, black bag that I got in 2020 or 2019 that is great but it's such a small bag and so I kind of needed a bag that would be like not too big not too small and so this actually works for that like this is the perfect like not too big not too small fits what you need you can dress it up dress it down it has this strap and it also has um, a chain strap which is here which is nice substantial chain strap and um, they're both detachable um, which is great and this reminds me a lot of the small um, Chanel 19 just the vibes the large quilting on it how soft it feels this is also in lambskin um, but the price point is so much better like I think that it's so crazy like when I bought my Chanel 19 in the large size it was like forty six hundred dollars now I think the small leather one is I want to say like fifty seven dollars or fifty fifty seven dollars fifty seven hundred dollars or fifty three hundred dollars something like that so this right here again it retails for like thirty one thirty two thirty three hundred dollars so either way it's like a savings of over two thousand dollars if you were to choose this bag over the Chanel 19 and the vibes are so similar like honestly so I love this bag getting this bag which I never do usually I'm researching hard and then I'm getting a bag I saw this one and just got the bag and then I did a little bit of research on just Valentino and they just have a couple additional bags that I think I want to add to my collection hopefully in 2022 so like I'm kind of happy I stumbled across Valentino um at this price and like guys thank you for all of your messages to me because I'm definitely going to be keeping this and this is already kind of becoming a little baby staple in my collection all right one more after this guys um, if you stayed this long, thank you so much. This, these are my Tory Burch Jessa um, loafers. These have been a staple in my collection since I got them. I think I got them this summer. These are so freaking comfortable and they just are everything. Like they're beautiful and they are comfortable and they feel so good. Like they're leather 
as you can see I've scuffed her up a little bit but I don't care I'm gonna be wearing her down to the entire brown I wear this anytime I like sometimes I'm like just a simple plain dresser like give me a shirt give me a pair of jeans and then I use my accessories to kind of zhuzh it up right these are my zhuzh these shoes are my zhuzh like they are so great and I literally have been stalking their site because like whenever these go on sale the Jessa loafers like I'm trying to scoop them all up so right now I have two pair of these and I definitely want more because they are so they're just so worth it I love them so much these are kind of like my favorite loafer brand this and the other one that I'm going to show you these I got for I want to say 150 or 200 bucks on sale I think they regularly retail for like 300 and some change but sometimes if you're lucky these will go in the sale that they have so um, I was able to get them on sale great like I'm obsessed with them seriously Whew, we almost made it to the end these are my other shoes that have been a staple in my collection these are the Sam Edelman I think they're called the Lorraine bit loafers I'll put them down below but these are the most comfortable loafers um, alongside of the Tory Burch ones that I have in my collection I was so obsessed with these freaking loafers that I have two mules and I think I have one two three four I want to say like four or five of these loafers like that's how obsessed I was these are probably ones that I wear the most these I don't know what it is this green croc with the gold matches like everything in my <laughs> in my wardrobe like I am obsessed I love these and I have worn these down to the ground along with the other ones um but these are the ones that I've worn down to the ground like if you guys are looking for like an expensive inexpensive shoe that is going to zhuzh up what you have going on but also like it's a loafer so you want it to be super comfortable like oh my gosh I cannot tell you how awesome these are so I love these I originally got them because they were so cute and I kind of liked the look and feel of that Gucci Princetown loafer or mule um, and so I got these because they were kind of similar with the little bit situation um, and I still might go for the Gucci ones at some point but like these are just I'm just so content with these these are so great and they're they didn't break the bank these are retailing for like $150 but usually there you can always find them on some type of sale so maybe I got these for under 100 bucks maybe 70 80 I honestly don't know but if I can find how much I paid for them I'll put them below but um, these are just really great like they I recommend these they're so comfortable and they're so freaking cute Whew. all right we made it to the end I feel like I have been talking forever but those are my best purchases of 2021 um, it's so cool to do videos like this because it really does make you kind of like reflect on the things that you've purchased and the things that you have and really kind of appreciate the things that have given you so much joy so thank you guys for just watching this video um, and sharing in my excitement and joy I would obviously love to know like what bags what shoes what things did you purchase in 2021 that just bring you so much joy that you wear all the time or that you just love staring at if you don't wear it all the time right um, comment below um, for those of you who are new please we're talking about all things handbags don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe obviously I'm one of the many that is trying to grow my channel so definitely if you like things about handbags and shoes and just fun things like that feel free to subscribe to this channel and then share it with a friend as well if you're not following me following me excuse me on Instagram do so um, I'll have my handle uh, down below I'm usually styling all of my things there um, and um, for the new subscribers who have subscribed since my last video thank you so much I hope that you are enjoying it here so thank you again and I look forward to seeing you all next Saturday at 1 bye